Okay, uh, good afternoon. This is uh, Professor Vijay Rosuez. I will be having a random topic for this afternoon. Uh, this random topic uh, falls under the study of differential calculus. Oh, I think this will be a good problem because on the first look, the differentiation will be abnormal. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, we are given a problem here. Uh, we are given y equal to the quantity x plus 2 raised to the quantity x plus 3. The problem is asking what will be the y x. Uh, <coughs> to differentiate this one or to solve for the derivative of y with respect to x, the solution will not be straightforward. And if we go directly to the, uh, what you call this, uh, exponential differentiation, uh, the given right hand side does not fall to any one of the exponential differentiation. So we must have to do something for it, okay, to fall under the differentiation formulas. Okay, the solution will be something like this. Uh, we rewrite the given equation y equal to x plus 2 raised to x plus 3. Okay. <coughs> the base is actually a, a variable thing. And the exponent is also a variable thing. Why variable? Because there is an x over there. Okay. So for us to differentiate this one, okay, the remedy should be we will take the natural log of both sides, natural logarithm. So if we take the natural logarithm of both sides, the natural logarithm of y will be the natural logarithm of y, the left hand side. And the logarithm of the right hand side will be the natural logarithm of open bracket. It's the given right hand side that is x plus 2 raised to x plus 3 plus bracket. Still natural logarithm of y. If we try to simplify the right hand side, we'll, we will be using the so called uh, loss of logarithm. We could uh, bring down the base. Then we will take the natural logarithm of, no, we could take down the exponent. Then we will take the natural logarithm of the base. That will be the concept we are using. So the right hand side can be written as the quantity x plus 3, the exponent, times the natural logarithm of the base. The base is actually x plus 2. So after taking the natural logarithm of both sides, this equation now is the equivalent of the given original y equal to this. These two here are the same, but uh, the given one, since the form does not fall under the exponential differentiation, we could not take any differentiation for the time, so we must have to transform it first to its equivalent equation. And the equivalent is actually the natural logarithm of y is equal to the exponent x plus 3, the natural logarithm of x plus 2. And here, we can now proceed with the differentiation without violating any laws of the so-called differentiation formulas. So, take the derivative of both sides. We are taking the derivative with respect to x, right? So, if we try to take the derivative of natural logarithm of y, it will be 1 over y times dy dx. We are taking the derivative with respect to x. So, this is 1 over y times dy dx. That's the standard 
formula on how to take the train, but keep up the inaugural rhythm of any given township. And this should be equal to. For the right hand side, uh, it seems uh, we got a product. Right? This is the first uh, function. This is the second function. First and second. And how do we take the derivative of the product? It will be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So it will be the first. The derivative of natural logarithm of x plus 2 will be 1 over x plus 2, that is uh, 1 over u, okay, times du dx, but u for the meantime is x, and the derivative of x with respect to itself is 1. Oh, this is plus 0. I didn't put any more. Close bracket. Plus. The second term is actually the natural logarithm of x plus 2. And the derivative of the first term, the derivative of x with respect to itself is 1. And the derivative of 3 with respect to x is 0. I didn't place it anymore. This is close bracket. As simple as it were, right? So, this is 1 over y, dy dx. Simplifying the right hand side, this is now algebra, simplification, right? x plus 3 times 1 times 1 is uh, x plus 3 all over x plus 2. The second term on the right, the natural logarithm of quantity x plus 2 times 1 is just the natural logarithm of quantity x plus 2. So to solve for dy dx, we must have to eliminate y here. We will multiply all terms by y. So if we try to expand, this y here cancel with this. What remains on the left will be dy dx, the one we are looking for. The right hand side will be y times this whole quantity here. Right? So y goes to the right now times the total quantity on the right, which is uh, that is the one within the bracket x plus 3 over x plus 2 plus the natural logarithm of x plus 2 plus bracket. To express dy dx all as a function of uh, dy dx as all as a function of x, we must have to take the equivalent of y. And y is actually the given original equation, right? So dy dx now as a function of pure x will be the given uh, equation originally. That is x plus 2 raised to x plus 3 times open bracket x plus 3 over x plus 2 plus the natural logarithm of quantity x plus 2 close bracket so this will be our answer okay uh, that's it guys uh, that's the solution of this abnormal differentiation okay uh, good afternoon from Los Angeles fresh or the beginning